Greetings, Rex Splash here with another vague review. And this one is a charming little manga that I came across. It is called Maguchen, the God of Destruction. Now this manga is one of those slice of life comedies with supernatural elements. It's not really for everyone, but you know, for me personally, I checked it out and I really enjoyed it. I was shocked. I thought it would just be one of those okay mangas, but no. I read the entire line and it left me wanting more, which I suppose a manga or a comic is supposed to want you to do. Now, the basic premise of this uh, manga is back way back in the ancient days, uh, there are gods that rule. I don't know if they ruled the planet, but there were gods. And the most powerful, he was considered, the, I think, the first pillar, and he's called Mag Menuek. Well, it, it's it's a quick manga too. He was basically had his worshippers. He was going to cause destruction. Some uh, holy knights came to face him off, and they used the seal to. Yeah, I apologize about the fact that it's raining. <laughs> But the uh, Holy Knights used a uh, seal to uh, seal away Magmenuik, the God of Destruction. And he's been sealed in this... It almost looks like uh, one of those dice you see in Dungeons and Dragons. But uh, it's completely clear. It's almost like a crystal. And he's been sealed in that for years. So long that when he was accidentally broken out of that seal by a girl, Magmenuik's original body was no more. His power was siphoned to the point that he was a small, squishy, blobby creature. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I laughed seeing Mag Menowick as a tiny, adorable, squishy, blobby thing talking about trying to rule and take over and uh, cause destruction. It's, it's charming. But, uh... It, the, it focuses mainly on Mag Menuhek, or as uh, his new disciple calls him, Maguchan. And the other main character is, I believe, Ryu. I forgot her last name. But the story is mostly about these two, but the chapters are self contained. So you can read one chapter, read another chapter 20 chapters later, and you won't feel lost. In a tiny bit of moments where they do mention a past scene, it's a quick little note and a quick little image, so you won't be left confused, which is pretty good. Um, and you got many characters too that are introduced, like uh, some human people, even other gods, and I believe they're called non-gods. They're creatures, but they're not part of six pillars, so yeah. It's fun though, and apparently they were all sealed away, so all these large, tall, intimidating monsters are just chibi cute little things that have strength but they can't really do much it's it's fun um so but like a lot of manga it did end and i don't want to spoil it but the ending it, it brought tears to my eyes tears they cry but it brought tears which only a handful of media ever did. It was a really good, heartbroken story. But I like that it ended it that way. Because I've noticed that, that if you read the entire manga, the creator of the manga actually shows that the characters do age tiny bit by tiny bit. Like when they celebrate Christmas one year, okay? They celebrate Christmas next time. They actually mentioned that last time they had Christmas and they're all a year older. They, they actually do age up. It's not significant, but it's enough for you to realize they're growing up. And, you know, what else? Naputaku the Mad. He is my favorite character in this manga. Oh my. He was so funny. When I first saw him, I thought, okay, he'll be the typical villain that Magu Chan will defeat every now and then. They did that, but Naputaku. Kind of quickly gave up on trying to take over because 
One, he's too weak. Two, his special move that he used the one time, it drained him so badly, he doesn't want to use it again. So, I'll give this a little spoiler. Nabutaku, the mad, he has something called, I think, the Scream of Madness. But basically, he can control others with his voice. So, when he tried to defeat Magochan, he used his Madness Scream to create to grab an army of monsters or animals to help him. But in the end, <laughs> I'm sorry. All he managed to summon, because they were fighting on the beach, all Nabutaku managed to summon was a hundred hermit crabs. And that's it. And these hermit crabs, they're, they have their own little personality too. It's adorable. But they kind of tra trail around Nabutaku. Every time you see him in the manga, he has at least five of the hermit crabs with them. There's a hundred, but one of the manga chapters explained that five of them always go out to help their leader while the others stay in the beach and they kind of flip-flop so technically they're always different hermit crabs but because they're so basic looking it's you wouldn't even tell i keep forgetting they're different hermit crabs but yeah those guys little guys are my favorite too Nabutaku and the hermit crab army they're great and magu chen just trying to understand humans and their culture it's hilarious yeah it's almost like a kid I think that Mago Chen as sort of like a person who's been raised in the wild and when they come and see the real you know the human culture with machines and cars and shops he doesn't understand it so to him it's all foreign foreign yeah foreign that's how Mago Chen is he doesn't understand any of these things but he's trying but it's hilarious when he doesn't get it or he finds no point in it I'm kind of just I'm pretty much just talking, but like talking, talking. But what I'm trying to say is it's a good manga if you like slice of life comedy. There's no complicated plot. There is a bit of uh, action scenes here and there, which isn't bad, but in the end, the manga quickly tries, not tries, the manga quickly reminds you that it's all basically comedy. It has it's a great plot, though. It's fun, and there are a couple chapters where I even thought, Okay, this is too slow. But, it's nothing big. Uh, yeah, that's my vague review for Megu-chan, the God of Destruction. It's a charming little manga, and I wish more... Well, I had no idea it existed until it was suggested to me. And I thought, oh, let me check it out. A little pink blobby creature. Might be fun for a reader, too. And I end up reading the entire manga. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it. And, uh, thank you for listening to my vague review. Just want to get out there.